House prices are up again. That's despite rising interest rates and the cost of living crisis. So what is driving this relentless rise? Who is benefiting? And with the majority of voters already owning their homes, does the government actually want house prices to fall? I'll be going to the panel on that in a moment. But first, I want to go to my audience here and just get your sense. What, what do we think about How do we feel about where house prices are at at the moment? Sorry. Um, I am a single first-time buyer in Dublin. I'm trying to buy my own home, an apartment or house or whatever. Prices are just, they're too high. Um, the supply isn't there in Dublin. You find when you look, that just, it just isn't there. The supply isn't there. The schemes that are available, the help to buy scheme, that doesn't necessarily work because if you go to apply for that, I haven't even applied for it, to be honest, because if you do, the prices are just too high for new bills, new apartments. And as one example where I'm living, one bed, a one bed new build was like over 500,000. For you know, one bed? For a one bed apartment, yeah. For a new build, because new bills are just so expensive. I mean, there's a lot of people like me. It's just very frustrating because you know, you're trying to buy a place and, you know, you want to be in Dublin. My single person, my job's in Dublin. Um, I don't want to live too far outside of Dublin. and have a massive commute, but I'm willing to compromise as well at the same time. But it's, it's difficult. And there's an embarrassment element too after a certain length of time as well when you're looking a long time. OK. OK, thank you for that. Uh, yourself, yeah? Hi. Uh, yeah, I have to agree. Um, I think that there is such a high rise in prices, but there's also build to rent schemes and that's what's pushing people because they have to rent and also save for a house. How is that possible when you're paying what 1,500 plus for an apartment, you know? Not, it's not good. People aren't saving to buy houses now. They're saving to get out of the country. Can I bring yourself your yeah. hand up there so as well? So to Thank add you. everything that everyone said, I've actually been away since 2019 working overseas on cruise lines, right? And I was really optimistic because my end goal was to come home, get a beautiful home in Dublin and just happily ever after. However, I had to come back four years later. I have to sleep in a couch in my mom's house. And to the point where it's, it's, it has to be stopped. I, I came back and last year I had the money saved. And the bank can just said, sorry, you have six months that you couldn't prove that you're living in Ireland. But I, was like, but I have the money right now, right here. But I got rejected. But the States, Emirates, you name it, they were willing to take money off me like that. But I want to stay loyal to the country where they raised you know, my heritage is here. I want to continue on my life here. But if you want me to go to Spain and have a house there, I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, can I bring in uh, Aoife, Aoife Ula? Hi. Hi. Now, you were lucky enough, you, you, you did manage to get a place and you got it with the help of one of the government's help to buy schemes. Yeah, so I used the help to buy. So I actually started the journey like everyone else, like during the pandemic, um, because I was looking to move out and rent. But I just, at the time, it was just really expensive and I really wanted to buy my own home. But at the time, like looking at apartments, I really wanted to buy my forever home. As they mentioned, it's just made more sense because of this. I was scared, like, if I even bought an apartment, like, could I sell it later down if the price of the market went? Um, so, yeah, so I unfortunately had to move out of Dublin and found a home in Drogheda, um, my forever home. And I used the help to buy scheme. Um, without that, I don't think I would be able to buy the house myself. How much was how much was that worth so, to you? Um, so the maximum was 30,000. So I was able to um, use that. So it was basically the, the, your dirt uh, tax. I was able to reclaim that from revenue. Um, I think there was such a high demand that I actually was on the phone to revenue all the time. Like um, I had to send on my proof of uh, purchase of the home to them um, before they actually accepted and sent on to the, uh, the property developers. Um, but it was such a strenuous journey and I actually was, I cried so much, I didn't think I could ever do it and without the help to buy, I, 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 I'm actually really grateful that I actually had the opportunity to use that. Can I bring in Megan? Where is Meg Megan? Here. That must seem like an impossible dream for you now, does it? Absolutely, and what's been said here already, uh, again, um, single, so on my own, trying to buy, um, tried to buy during the lockdown and then got put down to three days a week, so the banks were like, absolutely not, pulled the mortgage. Um, then I went on and I um, decided this was going to be the year that I was going to buy, so have been saving, and then the eviction ban got lifted, the day it got lifted, I got the magic letter. I was renting in Limerick City, which I absolutely loved, I think it, it's a super city. I found it very affordable when I first moved down there seven and a half years ago. 
Um, but then, as I said, um, the, I was, it was coming to an end. So while I was tr still trying to look to rent, um, there is nothing out there at the moment that's affordable. So on Saturday, I moved out of my accommodation and I moved in home in rural Galway with my mother, Pauline. And uh, I had to actually hand in the notice of my full time job because I can't stay working in Limerick and living in Galway. So, so you've given up your whole life, given up my life, job, basically, given up, whole your, your life, job, given up my life in the city, which I loved. Um, I'm not looking for anything special. All I wanted was a one or two bed apartment, but it has been mentioned here behind me as, as well, the prices of them. It's just extortionate. So um, I kind of was left at no other <coughs> option. So I'm hoping now I can maybe save more money. Although I'm effectively unemployed, I am freelancing. So the hope is that maybe in six months, a year down the line, maybe I can go for a full-time job and, and try again. Can I bring in Aoife? It's yourself, is it? Yeah. Aoife, you have just managed to buy a house. I literally just bought a home. We got the keys, what, about a month ago? Uh, and it's been, been some months, but it's been about two and a half years of relentless saving. Um, we never could never avail of any schemes. Um, we didn't buy a new build. We couldn't afford a new build. Um, we're both from South Dublin, so... That was out of the question. Goodbye, we weren't buying in South Dublin. Way too expensive. And um, we looked at the likes of uh, kind of South uh, West, City West, uh, Kildare. Oh, we went kind of as far as Arklow at one stage and the two of us were like, no way. So we settled in Wicklow. Eventually we got a, um, a house. It was about two and a half years of tears and um, tantrums, mainly for myself, um, <laughs> and a lot of like, what am I doing? And should I just move to Australia? And I don't want to move to Australia. 